Welcome guys, welcome back, it's another Monday game review. Today we are reviewing the game called Castle Story. I've been I've had my eyes on this game for a good while and like just over the holidays the developers dropped me a key for the game. So here we go with a Monday game review. It is tea yeah, I can't even talk what's going on today. There are three stages in single player, those are multiplayer, and a world editor. <coughs> wow. So there's sandbox, invasion, and conquest. So I'd start off with basically a sandbox map. This is the new map they added in the last update. You guys want to see that? I'll go on to desert map. Then sandbox. You can also change the mode when you're choosing maps. This what's the night out just to show. Hey guys, I'll be back as soon as it loads. Alright guys, we are back and the game has been loaded. <laughs> so I have it on the night mode, if you guys can see there. What I'll do, basically you can collect all the resources needed to build. You can these tools here. And you can build any structure block by block. Any structure. What I'm gonna do is put it in debug mode. Just kind of quick here. Right. Debug mode so that I can build quick and you guys can see the basic tools of the game. And I can't see a thing. Hey right, guys, building montage.
Alright guys, back into the game. <laughs> and I think that's enough building for now. I think I like both resources. You mainly have to put down a stockpile. I could just build a basic wall. Things get very advanced someday. You can build like castles and stuff. If you're so into that, build in castles. If you guys are putting on a lot of stockpiles, I recommend put them a, a block apart. Because then, if you put them too close together, the guys won't be able to walk between. As you can see, the diamond is full of power. You can spawn in a guy, and you have an extra worker. And there's more diamonds across the map where you can find and capture. These are the enemies there. So I wonder if I can spawn in a few knights. That noise in the background. And the game doesn't like that one. It's one of them boats. The knights, that's one in. Here are these guys. So you guys can see every class and how they look. One of this guy. Not sure. You can actually, when you're using debug, you can actually go for the limit of 15. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys what each guy look like. And they all have a specific unique name to them. And this one is called Martin. <laughs> That's a weird name. They all even individually have a specific name. That's a that's a cool part about the game. Right, now to spawn in some random enemies. Let's see. It's a bridge there. This one in the bigger sky possible. You would spawn in two more of these small or medium guys. Not sure if he's going to attack, but okay. of the combat cell, they can literally just whack each other. <coughs> so the enemies are made out of stone. Corrupted stone. That's his life source going there. This is one of the f fine crystals. 
It's basically a torrent in this game. To feed by the entrance. And show you guys a bit more of the combat. The combat. For the big guy. Ooh, he's got pelt. guys in that insane battle. Alright guys, what do you think of the game? I drop a link in the description. You guys can get the game on the Steam Sun now till the 1st of January. You can get the game for $10 on the Steam Store. So if you guys want to get your hands on the game, from now till January the game is on sale for $10. Till January is 2nd to be exact. So you guys can pop on the steam so and get the game for yourself and try it out as well Shane, hope you guys enjoyed the game see you guys in the next one as you can see that guy just respawned there see you guys in the next one ashbos is out peace